says R&B superstar R. Kelly appearing in court. That's what he does these days. He doesn't appear on stage. He appears in courtrooms around the country. Sometimes it's state court. Sometimes it's Illinois. Sometimes it's New York. Maybe it's Minnesota. That's where his latest tours are taking him. And it's, uh, it's unreal. It's really unreal. And today, another appearance in another courtroom for R. Kelly. And joining us to talk about is man who was there from our sister network, Newsy, criminal justice reporter, Jamal Andres. Jamal, great to have you here tonight. Thanks so much. Um, this is a guy who's been locked up now for a while. So my first question is, what did he look like? How did he appear? Did he look like a beaten man? Was he, uh, did he look the same? What did you notice? I tell you what, Vinny, he appeared in court today and he seemed, I think, serious, but not sad necessarily, not defeated. Um, his attorney, Steve Greenberg, spoke with us after the proceedings and he said that R. Kelly's ready to get this going. He's ready to get the trial started. He's obviously maintained his innocence throughout this entire proceeding. And um, I, I think much like 2008, he's looking to be vindicated again. Um, he's actually staying only a few blocks from the courthouse in sort of the South Loop area, south downtown of Chicago. And I think he's ready to move forward. Here's, here's the thing. I, I mean, what's different than the last time around is that was one case, one trial. Yeah. He's got yeah. cases in federal court in Chicago, where you were today, federal court in New York, Minnesota, and he's got a series of cases in state court in Illinois. Well, let me ask you this. Who else was in court today? Were there any of the accusers, anyone from the surviving R. Kelly docuseries who we got to know there? Any family members of R. Kelly? Yeah, so we had a um, some, obviously there were supporters. R. Kelly always has supporters at the courtroom, it seems like. Not as many as usual, but definitely had some uh, at the courtroom this time. I was able to speak with some extended family members, one woman from Houston, actually. And she says that she is as confident as ever. Um, she is happy with the judge that's been handling this case. She's happy with Steve Greenberg, obviously. Um, and I think she most certainly felt confident about the way this is moving forward. All of that said, as you mentioned, he is facing a lot of charges with a lot of different people. This case alone has five alleged victims. Um, he's also facing cases in Minnesota, as you mentioned, another big one in uh, New York. And so I, I think this is very different. And again, also still dealing with the local charges, state charges in Cook County. So let, let's focus in on now what today was all about. So he was reindicted in federal court. What are prosecutors doing here? Well, the first two things, the first two big things that happened today. First, R. Kelly pleaded not guilty to all charges. Um, the second thing, prosecutors uh, asked that this essentially trial date be moved back. It was originally set for April, and now it is going to be October 13th. That's currently uh, where we stand with that particular trial. Um, the reason for moving that back is that they want more time to sift through all the evidence. Apparently, they have discovered over 100 electronic devices in a storage locker in uh, suburban Chicago. Um, we're talking laptops, hard drives, cell phones, and so obviously they want to make their way through all of that. But uh, Steve Greenberg spoke to media after the proceedings and said he doesn't think they're going to find anything incriminating. You've interviewed Greenberg a ton of times. He's a confident guy. He doesn't seem at all worried about this new evidence. He also mentioned New York investigators actually raided this storage locker already. Uh, so we don't know if that's true, but we definitely, again, he seemed uh, pretty nonchalant about that particular finding. So October 13th, um, there's, he's got other trial dates. I think the state charges are in the fall as well. Was there any indication today in court as to which of these cases is going to move forward first, state court, Illinois, federal court, Illinois, federal court in New York, or perhaps in Minnesota. Did we get any answer to that today inside the courtroom? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, this is, there's a lot to keep up with, as you mentioned. Um, the first case, that the first trial date that he is set to deal with right now, just today, uh, is his case in Brooklyn uh, with New York, the New York federal charges. That 
particular trial is set for July 7th. This one is, again, October 13th. They actually moved that trial in New York back originally specifically to get out of the way of this trial. Uh, but as of right now, that's the first thing he has coming up on July 7th. Okay. And he's, he's locked up. He's not going anywhere. Uh, and, and it tried to probably get the, the bail reduced, and I'm sure was denied again today. Or did they even ask for it? Yeah, they, the, um, Steve Greenberg actually removed uh, the request for bail this time around. He didn't feel like it was necessary by any means. Um, apparently, uh, that particular motion, again, has been removed. And they're dealing with, uh, I, I guess because of all of the proceedings going on in New York, even if he was received bail here in Chicago, they just ship him up to New York uh, to deal with sort of the case going on there. So again, because there are so many trials going on, he's kind of wrapped up in all of these different places. And, and I think it's a long way to getting home. And I think they're pretty much looking forward to the trial. Do we know what's next? Yeah, as far as this particular case goes, um, there's supposed to be another victim introduced into this case. So, uh, a few weeks back, they had a superseding indictment that was introduced, um, and that dropped one of the victims, a victim known as Minor 2 in the indictment, and replaced her with uh, Minor 6 in that new superseding indictment. And so they're supposed to do that again. The prosecutors in this case are supposed to introduce a sixth victim into this case with a new superseding indictment. That's supposed to come in the coming weeks. Uh, the other big thing that's coming up right now is uh, his ex-manager, Daryl McDavid. Daryl McDavid is supposed to submit a motion to essentially sever his case from R. Kelly's case. He doesn't want to be tried at the same time, and he wants to move forward. Uh, so that motion is supposed to come up here soon, but again, hasn't been submitted. That's supposed to come in the next few weeks. All right. A lot to keep up with. I, I hope you'll come back on the show because you know, we've got to make sense of all this. Joel Andres from our sister network, Newsy, thanks so much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.